Hi, my name is Emily and I work here at PGACO as an online QuickBooks specialist. I am an advanced pro advisor and I hope that this video answers any of your questions or queries you may have. If it doesn't, however, there will be a link at the end of the video taking you to my Find an Accountant page. Here you'll find reviews from some of my current clients and you can get in touch with any questions or queries you may have. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for any future updates and new videos. Thank you very much. In this video I'm going to show you how to allocate supplier refunds from the banking section from within QuickBooks Online. So if we go to the banking section, I recently bought some stationery from Viking, however I returned some of it as it was over ordered. So I'm just going to find in the banking section the money coming back into my bank account from the refund. And here you can see 34.99 was received back on the 30th of April. I'm going to click on that transaction and I want to add it as a deposit. I need to ensure that the supplier is set back to Viking. And what you do is you put the refund back to the original account it was assigned to. So when I assigned the expense to start with, I put it to print, post and stationery. It's going to go back into that account. And for the VAT code, just ensure that it is selected to the correct code. In this case, 20% standard purchases. Once I'm happy with all that information, I will click add. And that transaction has now moved to the in QuickBooks and has been accounted for.